Hey everyone, Julian here. Today I'm going to be showing you what a major seventh chord is. So, what is a major seventh chord? In short, a major seventh chord is a chord where the third and the seventh are major. So, what exactly do I mean by this? Um, so, when you have a standard major chord, you know you start with your root or your first. So, in this case, I'm going to use C major. So, we would have C. You will have your third, which is going to be a major third since this is a major chord. If it was a minor chord, it would be a minor third. But anyway, the major third of C is E. Um, and then you have your fifth, which is always going to be seven notes up from your root, so G. So this is a standard like major chord. What a major seventh chord does is it adds this voice called a major seventh on top, which in this case is going to be B. It's always just one note down from your root note, um, but obviously like up here, not below it. Um, and yeah, so what this major seventh does is it adds like a little bit of sort of melancholy to the sound. If you listen to, I'll deactivate this note real quick. Here's the standard C major. And then here is the C major 7. Oh, whoops. There we go. So you see this, adding this little extra note on here, it actually creates a little bit of dissonance if you listen. These two notes are like literally right next to each other. So they sound a little bit strange together. But because of the spread between them, you get this really nice, like I said, sense of sort of like, you almost have like a, it's like a sad major chord. It's weird. Um, but these are very powerful chords. They're used a lot in like future bass and um, a lot of house music now uses them. Um, you know, obviously they're very popular if you're familiar with like R&B and like, you know, hip hop and sort of like that whole world. They're very popular. It's just a very nice kind of chord to use because you can get a lot of mileage out of it, I found. You can kind of use it like, you can kind of use it in a lot of things. Like, you can use it if you're in, a, if you want to be in a major key, but you want to, like I said, have a sense of sort of like melancholy. You can use it just if you want like some cool chord voices to play around with. Um, I think it's a really good and useful tool for music producers. It's very important to know. Um... But yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty simple. It's really nothing too much to it. It's just a matter of adding this extra voice on top of a basic triad. And if you notice, I was referring to this as a major seventh. A seventh is very similar to a third, where you can either have a major seventh or a minor seventh. If I was going to do a C minor seventh, then what I would do is I would just move these two notes down. And there you go. But... That's going to be it for today, guys. Really, all I wanted to talk about was just how to make a major seventh chord. Um, let me know what you thought of this tutorial in the description, or in the comments. Excuse me. Um, check out my sample packs. As always, make sure to like this video, subscribe, share the video if it really helped you out. Um, I think I already said, let me know what you think in the comments. So, I'm going to go for today, guys. See you again tomorrow for another tutorial.